Five potential finishes for Natalya vs Charlotte Flair at Hell in a Cell Natalya defends her SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte on Sunday night, and here are five potential finishes to their match Natalya defends her SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair on Sunday night at Hell in a Cell, but this isn't the first time these two women have been embroiled in a feud over a championship Back in 2014, it was Natalya and Charlotte who made the final of the NXT Women's Championship tournament that was finally won by Charlotte in a standout match at NXT TakeOver Fast forward a few years, and Natalya then challenged Charlotte for the Divas Championship back in March 2016 at Roadblock with her hometown crowd behind her, but she was unable to get the job done Natalya then stepped up to challenge Charlotte for the Raw Women's Championship back at both Payback and Extreme Rules in 2016 After what was a lengthy feud between the two, and it was Dana Brooke's interference at Extreme Rules that allowed Charlotte to retain her title once again It seems that there is a trend with all of these matches between the two women so far, but Natalya has never walked into a match as the women's champion, so perhaps the outcome on Sunday will be different Number 5 Natalya retains her SmackDown Women's Championship Natalya only won the SmackDown Women's Championship back at SummerSlam when she defeated former champion Naomi before she then managed to defeat her again a few weeks later in her rematch on Sin City SmackDown Natty hasn't been able to do a lot with the championship over the past few weeks, with Carmella hanging around and Charlotte making her return, which is a good reason why she should retain the title on Sunday night the Raw Women's Championship was defended inside the steel structure last year in historic fashion, but Charlotte and Natalya are not being given that kind of opportunity this year, so it seems that there won't be the same amount of twists and turns Natalya forced Charlotte to tap to the sharpshooter on SmackDown this past week, and she wouldn't have any problem forcing the Queen to do the same thing again on Sunday night Number 4 Charlotte makes history at Hell in a Cell Charlotte is already a four-time Raw Women's Champion and a former NXT Women's Champion If she wins the SmackDown Women's Championship on Sunday night then she will be the only woman to have held all three currently active female championships in WWE Charlotte is no stranger to creating history in WWE, given the fact that 2016 was arguably the year of Charlotte in the Raw Women's Division Even though 2017 hasn't been on the same level, she could still end the year on a high Despite this year being much quieter for Charlotte, the fact that she has won every other championship match she has ever had against Natalya easily sways this match to her advantage, so it's safe to say that the odds are in the Queen's favor Number 3 – Ric Flair Return in Distraction It is one of the more unlikely scenarios, but given the fact that Ric Flair and Charlotte have a new book coming out, and Natty has made a point of mentioning Flair's health in the build-up to this match a number of times, it is completely feasible It was Dana Brooke's distraction when she was dressed as Ric Flair at Extreme Rules back in 2016 that cost Natty her last chance at the Royal Women's Championship Could history repeat itself? Flair has been released from the hospital and is seemingly looking quite well right now, it is unknown if he is in a condition where he could fly to Detroit to help his daughter one more time, but it would definitely be a huge surprise if he did Number 2 Tamina's time Is it a coincidence that Lana and Tamina are the only two female SmackDown stars that haven't been involved in the build-up to this match over the past few weeks, Naomi? Carmella and Becky Lynch have all played their part, but it seems that ever since she was pinned by Charlotte a few weeks ago in the number one contenders match on SmackDown Live, Tamina has been missing Lana said that Tamina would know when it was her time and if she decided to attack both women mid-match so that a winner couldn't be named It would then lead to a triple threat match in the near future and Tamina would get the women's championship shot that she has been planning for with Survivor Series on the horizon, it is unlikely that Tamina would do this now, but never say never in WWE, if you want to make an impact then do it in a match between the top two women in the division Number 1 Carmella cashes in her Money in the Bank briefcase Natalia may be standing across the ring from Charlotte on Sunday night, but she knows that in the back of her mind she has another woman to worry about 
Carmella won the Money in the Bank case back in June and has been teasing a cash-in over the past few months, whilst Naomi was women's champion. It is unknown as to whether or not Carmella will cash in her case mid-match much like Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 31 to make it a triple threat match. Or if she will wait until the end of the match and decide to cash in on a weakened champion. Carmella knows that Natalya and Charlotte are two of the biggest stars in the division and two of the hardest to defeat, so it wouldn't be a wise idea for the Princess of Staten Island to play this card on Sunday night, but never say never.